Hey guys, today's video is all about bridesmaid proposal boxes, how I made them, what's inside of them, and how much it costs. So if you're interested in seeing how I made these lovely affordable boxes, then just keep watching. So I want to start off by saying I have four bridesmaids and I spent about $15 roughly for each box. Um, so I bought four boxes. Um, for my bridesmaids, I bought white boxes, just simple and plain. I got these at Michael's on sale for $1.99. And for my maid of honor, hers looks a little bit different. It has a little design to it. It's white and beige. So the boxes I got at Michael's for $1.99. They're just regular um, photo boxes or the size of a shoe box, an average shoe box. For the lid, I wanted um, each box to have their name to kind of um, what is it called? A few moments later. I wanted each box to have their name to kind of customize it to each person. This one, her name is Luz. We have the L-U-Z. I used my Cricut machine to um, cut out the letters in vinyl. Super easy. When the girls open up their boxes, they'll see two different things on the lid. One of them is just a saying of, I can't say I do without you. And I use a metallic gold marker and my Cricut machine to um, write this out. And another thing they'll see is our little save the date that I quickly printed just on my regular printer on cardstock paper. So it could catch the color a little bit better. Um, and it's more sturdier. So if they want to keep it, um, they can. All it says is save the date with our names on it, um, our actual date, and the venue and location of where we're getting married. Um, I found this template on paperless.com. They have a lot of templates for evites or save the dates or any party that you can think of. They have a template for um, an invitation template for it. So now for the inside of the box. My favorite thing about these boxes is the cookies. So each girl has a ring cookie. Let me hold this up better. A ring sugar cookie with their name on it. Again, this one says loose. And these are actually our colors. Um, like a dusty rose, gold, and burgundy reddish. Here's a little close up of this one. Beautiful. The second cookie in here is the actual question. Again, the same design, gold, burgundy, pink. And it says, will you be my bridesmaids? All the bridesmaids got this one in their box. The cookies are sold by the dozen. So I bought a dozen of them for $45. I thought that was a really good deal compared to some of the other bakeries I inquired about. Um, I found her on Instagram. So if you live in the San Antonio area, I'll link her information down below. They're beautiful, elegant. I really could not have asked for better cookie. The next thing that each girl has in their box is a little bottle of pink Moscato. Again, I love that it's pink. So it, it still, um, blends in with our colors or wedding colors um, a package of four of these was about five dollars at Target so each one was only about a dollar and 25 cents I also found these plastic glasses that have gold on them shimmery and I just added a little bit of shred paper in them so it could kind of be visible in the box a package of eight of these eight or twelve were um, three dollars at Target so the next thing I added was this peel off mask from Target and it was $1.99. I love the pomegranate color and I wanted to include a little bit of self care in there. Then the last thing was just a couple of Ferro Rochers. Um, these are my favorite chocolates and they have gold in them. So just figured I'd kind of throw some in there. Another small detail is that I filled these boxes with shred paper. 
I had some plain brown one and then some metallic mixed with white. For each box, I used about three fourths of the brown bag and then I just sprinkled in some white um, shredded paper at the top. Each bag was $2 also at Target, but you can find them cheaper at Dollar Tree. The, at Dollar Tree, it's a dollar a bag. Some quick tips on bridesmaid proposal boxes is number one, try not to gift things that you need them to have on your wedding day because you can't control whether or not they're going to lose it or misplace it, especially if you're gifting these way in advance. Like my wedding isn't until like over a year from now, so I won't be gifting them like their bridesmaid pajamas that I bought a few months ago that I talked about in a previous video. So I'll be keeping those and then be gifting them when it comes closer to my wedding date. Another tip is to customize it. Customize your bride me proposal boxes by putting their names on them. I think having your name on anything kind of makes it cool. So like I did the lid on the box and again the cookie. So instead of just putting like bridesmaids on things, try customizing it with their names so that they can always use whatever it is that you're labeling or putting their name on. And then lastly, just keep it simple. Most likely the people you're gifting these things to, you know, are going to say yes. So it doesn't have to be a big extravagant gift that you have to break the bank for. If you want to splurge your bridesmaids with things, I recommend you wait until your wedding day, like a little thank you for being my bridesmaid and then a little gift. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and it hopefully gave you some ideas and I'll see you next time.